Oh, be careful that guy, yeah? Don't get hurt. <laughs> what is up my bitch you Nick Morris here welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii first time here welcome aboard if you're coming back welcome back aboard we're about to drop lines and we are 30 miles out we just blew it out we're looking for the aqua today find our first bird pop of the day it's time to set the lines let's get that moose be in the water first though if you gotta get something you have to get something let's find moose be in the water let's feed the sea god he loves the spam moose bees Alright, let's see the line's in the water, so it was a pile. 31 miles out, we got the line set. We're going up here now, trying to get the bird pile, but we started pouring rain. There's a giant rain squad that came in, and he's got to be a few miles wide. I can't see anything right now. I'll show you, I'll show you. Let's go blur the camera. And only one giant squall right there. Got the line set, we're looking for the bird right now. Three other four, there's like three or four other boats out here, so. See you guys back here shortly for the drain. Never give up. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you're new here. Post new videos every Friday. I'll let you guys see my fishing with shortly. It's too much uh, rain going on right now. All right, first round of the day. First bird pile we can hunt through anyway. Let's get it, boys and girls, for the dream. On, get your on. Double. There you go. Triple. Other rigger's about to go. Can't break the rubber band. Three on that one. And we got one out of the three. Set, set me a snow globe. Hey, the blue snow globe. Like a small lure. Okay, we're going back up to see now. Get back to the pile. We're like, we got one on that pass. We got triple, we got one. Not good. You gotta get more than one. If you get multiples, you gotta check it all over. Not just one. So, back up now and see if we can uh, change up a little bit. 7 inch blue solo, the only big lure we had out that got the fish. The 5 inch is all lost them, so we'll see. Back to the pile now, we'll see what happens. We're going to get past these guys right here. Four bigger. We're four on. All right, jump on another one, right? Two. Walk it forward. Order it through, walk it forward if you can. Have you lost it? Put it back off. Oh, blue stole a little again, huh? Alright, that's three. We're at fifty percent right now. Piles run, they're running. You get one hit them and they run far. But we have three old right now, all over twenty pounds. But fish should be today is the one and only DJ Henry. <laughs> First time everyone has arrived for my spoke J Wise. Alright. Get them on the beat today. Make them in today. Whoa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think Ryan almost fell over about four times today so far here in the ice hall. <laughs> I know how much you I know how much you guys like the giveaways. All the gear I use today is from myfishfree.com. Big start my bio, raw five, five percent off. But for you guys for today, I don't sell those five top we were. We're gonna give away like five of them. We'll give away five of them to all you guys, okay? Stay till the end, I'll tell you how you guys can win one. If I was to sell them, it'd probably be like twenty dollars each, but I do not sell them. You only can't be friends or family. Other guys I know really good. 
Other than that, they're not available for sale. So we'll give five of them away today. See you to the end. I'll tell you how you can enter to win. Just gotta hit the subscribe and thumbs up. That's all you have to do. So let's get back in this style, boys. That's for the dream. One on. One. One. Right there. Two. Right there. Two. Right there. Two. Yep. Two. Three, 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 four, five, six. Everything's on. Everything's on. Six mega baby. Oh no, five. Here we have five. You got it right? Chocolate jacket, no, huh? Chocolate jacket, no, huh? The best, do you hold them? Hold my desk, eh? Got them in the same, got the knife, one time drop it. That's my right. Okay. So I'm doing like this, hang here. One time, cut it, drop it. That way you get all of it in the box. I got a bloody mess down here. Okay, good job. You guys ready? Yeah. I got a five being on the last one. We got three of the five, so not bad. Want to be a hero? Look. No gloves. Looks what happens. You gotta add to the square collection. Gotta wear gloves. Gotta wear gloves. Not too bad. Gotta wear gloves, though. Don't buy you loose fingers or get burn fingers. I don't want to get burn fingers today. That's how you guys see we get some fireworks, boys. Those for a dream. Those five inch slats. Candy. And back in the pond where the birds are sitting. When the birds are sitting, it's having a good time. He's the fish went down. Oh, we're doing our mini over here. If not, then we're going to jet and find a new pile again. We got six. Seven o'clock in the morning, we got six. Not the best, but not the worst. We got six. I think we lost like nine. That's a bad number. That's that sounds bad. That six of them is mine. All right. Let's see. Let's see. They're looking now. They're looking. We bought 900 pounds of ice today. We knew our game plan was to go to Pro Aku today, so bring lots of ice. I mean, we know we have to get our fish. That's priority. If you can't get your fish, no sense even catching them. So we're gonna put those in the ice. Beautiful fish. That's 20. Is that Henry? No. Yep. Apple bottles. That was 60 pounds. We got 120 pounds of fish right now. All right, on to the next pile. Teamwork makes the dream work. On, on. One. See, they broke up again too, huh? See, they broke up again too. Oh, see right there. Oh, he snagged. Yep. All right, one more at seven. I think the center jumped on now. Now the center's on. Now we have three on. Center's definitely on now. Three on. Uh, mean squall just people start smoking over here. 
Hey y'all, keep going, keep going. We're out. Come on, get him in. Now get the other one, the other one is on now. Turn the ball, walk it forward, there you go. That's the one. That's the one. That's the way. Double wrap. Are you close? Double wrap, baby. That's the one. Yeah, you. Five inch little slams. Okay. 12.40. We hit 10. We just hit 10 now. It took a little while. Roddy Powell's all low, Brent. Break up, break up. They're both shy. It is fun. It's called breaking up. It's a huge spot. They're breaking up. Once you we'll get the lines back on, try to get back in them again. Like I said, they'll stay tuned to the end. Stay to the end. I'll tell you how you guys have a chance to win with these five inch lures. Hopefully, you get more fish. So you'll be able to ship me. And the weather changed all of a sudden. The wind just picked up all of a sudden. From like 5 to 10 miles an hour to like 20 plus. That's it. Paul's right behind us, so Paul's staying with us. We're making a chapter here, Henry. I don't know. You keep us open. Alright, that's 11. That's in PC, so not bad. That's pretty much a breaking of fish right there. That's pretty much cover a few hours. We're gonna burn a lot of fuel today because we pushed so far out. So, any that piece is pretty much the breaking in fish. So, right now, anything after this is probably fishing in the green now. That should cover expensive that we should be the green after this. So, we shall see. Unless we get some, uh, some fuel money for future trips, which is always the goal. Oh, center. Center. He's skipping. What the my mind? My mind. My mind. Double. Double. Two on. Right, open the box. Box is open. Triple oh, my mind, eh? Yeah, bring it that corner. Bring it that corner because the rigger's on. Oh my god, that's a sandwich. Five inch slant. There you go. Henry, show model what that lets you go. Oh, Aku. Oh, be careful with that guy, yeah? Don't get hooked. Oh, that's a noser. Loose thumb roll, there you go. Yeah, throw that inside. <laughs> oh my god! Throw back inside. Oh yeah, put that one down. down. Casualties today. I lost my pink bomber sunglasses, they blew off my hat. Ryder lost his hat. Brand new blessed hat. Casualty. Henry and Luke ain't yet. You wait, you wait, you'll see. I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you caught yours. You, right? you might be safe, you caught yours. So right now we got 12 Otaru and 2 Mai Mai. 115 now. Oh, I'll start sliding, we'll see. The wind that we picked up. I'll right, see you guys soon. Thumbs up for good luck, boys and girls. Hey, did you get a bite, Henry? Oh, so. Oh, let's see. Knock, knock. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Tell them to bite the line, let's go. Bite the lure. See it, right? Oh, tangle, tangle. Oh, walking up front.
What? Wrap it. Hello? There you go. That's not a good, that's not a good, uh, that's not a good action for you right now. <laughs> All good. So Four o'clock, 15 minutes for tire change, and not much. Dirty Otaru's to my mind still yet. Super good bird piles, but I'll tell you what. A few guys, you know, they come out here beating them up every single day for the past week. Thousand pounds every day, thousand pounds, two thousand pounds. I don't know if that's that put a damper in the search of these bird piles or what. You get like one, two hits in them and they're done. One pass, you get like a two or three banger and they're done after that. No idea. Trying to find one more good bird pile before calling it a day. We're at 31 miles to go in. It's four o'clock. Stop making excuses. Yeah, there's no excuses. You're right, Henry. We're just cooking it the whole time. <laughs> Terrible. The problem is you guys lost more than we caught. That's the problem here. That is true. Yeah, we definitely lost more than we caught, yeah? Um, uh, pretty right sure. Under 50% maybe. Yeah, that's pretty bad odds. All right, Ricky Wendo, we're not giving up yet. Never give up. Like I said, there's three bites of the day. Early bite, late bite, and waiting for the late bite. We're coming up to that late bite time. Those are for good luck, and like I said, we're gonna give away a couple of lures at the end of this video. Some of those aqua lures for you guys. All right, buddy, I'll see you guys soon. Two lines. Double eyes. In there. Ah, so do you hold. Oh, Harry. That would just come off. That would just come off and everything. That would just came off, Henry. So that came off. That was just double eye right there too. Double eye shaking the five inch lures. They both came off. Ah, uh, the big leader too. Oh, you can't wait here. You can't wait here some five inch lures just like that. All right, everybody, we're gonna sit back up. We have time. It's 5.30, we're 20 miles out there. Have some time. Three kill taru, two rat mines, and two rat apus. We didn't get rich today. We know what the fish was. We just know how to get them out of the water. But everybody's gonna be good. And we'll cover expenses for sure. Good job, Andy. Good job, Ryan, first trip. Yeah, putting work today. Look at those arms. <laughs> yeah, it's dust yeah. today. Don't yeah. sleep good. All right, not bad. I guess we'll see you guys at home or at the fish auction or somewhere. See you guys soon. So we're back at home now. Um, I'm going to show you how to make some uh, some Aku Pokey hand rolls. Pretty, should be pretty epic. Oop, that wasn't me. That was a fish. Fish farted, swear to God. I promise. I'm going to show you how to make some Aku Pokey hand rolls. It should be pretty epic. Um, caught these yesterday to come up today. And uh, this is the new addition to the family. Come here. Come here, Roxy. Got a blue healer puppy. Roxy. Roxy. Woo. Well, let's get this guy cut up and then uh, we'll get ready to go. Yeah, beautiful. So this is what we'll work with. We'll turn this into um, some bulky. Let me finish putting this fish away and then uh, we'll come back and we'll make some, some hand rolls. It's gonna be super epic. Give it a thumbs up and uh, stay till then. I'll tell you guys you can win some lures. Three lucky winners. All right, everybody, see you soon. So what is up? We're back at home. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some super epic pokey hand rolls. You guys can be sushi, but it's pokey hand rolls. Very, very simple, okay? A few ingredients. We have green onion, kukui nut, which I don't know if you can find in the mainland. Japanese cucumber, shiso leaf, which is like, to me is like, when you eat sushi, you gotta have shiso leaf. It's so good. Seaweed, salt, sushi rice. And all the sushi rice is just rice. It's cooled down now, but I just added some, um, some rice vinegar and salt to it. I didn't want to bring the big can of sesame seed oil outside, so I put a little sesame seed oil in a cup. So I got a fish right here. It's cut up, put in a bag. So whenever you store fish, always put paper towels. You want to keep your fish fresh, add paper towels. And I would say, you know, fresh fish, it's going to last a few days, you know what I mean? And I would say just change the, I would say, fresh fish like this, this fresh, will last about four, four or five days in the fridge. Aku has a short shelf life. I would say maybe two to three days at the most. Uh, tuna fish, me a week or so, but as long as you change your paper towels daily, it's gonna last. You know what I mean? Paper towels gonna soak up a lot of the juice, a lot of the excess juice. It'll keep your fish looking very, very good. Look at that. 
and you see that beautiful aku to me is probably one of the most flavorful fish there is you know what i mean it's very very good for sashimi pokey and everything else i think it's probably a very under underutilized fish honestly but uh let's get this fish cut up i'm gonna cut some up for pokey i'm gonna put a block on the side for sashimi because i'm gonna eat sashimi for dinner tonight but this uh this uh pokey handles is just a little i guess a little sampler for me but let's get this fish cut up so our fish are here with the center bone coming down we just want to make a cut in that. Take off that center bone. And uh, let me clean this one up too while I'm at it. Always talk about properly bleeding your fish. And you can see, there's no blood in this fillet. I mean, this fillet is like perfect. I'm not going to cut sashimi with that right now. Let me put my sashimi away for later. Let's trim off some of this blood meat. I try to always sharpen my knife before I cut fish. You wanna have nice, clean cuts, sharpen your knife. Pretty much trimmed up. A little blood meat right here. That's pretty much good. I'm just trimming the blood meat. I mean, you can leave the blood meat if you want. I don't want the blood meat. If I make it dry, I'll eat the blood meat, but for this, I don't want the blood meat. And we're just dicing it really small, as you can see. Dicing it super small. So, this should be about enough down the side. A little more blood meat right there. Perfect. Now I'm, I'm just cutting it off. Try to get the thickness I want, okay? That should be good. This is gonna be epic. And this this recipe is such a simple recipe. I pretty much always do this with Ai. You know, whenever I get like the scrapings from the center bone, this is one of the recipes, it's pretty much a given I'm always gonna make. Whenever I catch Ai and I cut it myself, this will probably be the first meal off that fish when is that bone scrapings of this stuff. There's not going to be any streaming inside. None of the suji that we refer to it as. That should be perfect. Some people like big pieces. I prefer small blocks. They're about half inch by half inch blocks. Here's a good reference. It should be big enough for a three-year-old can eat it easily without choking on it. And I guess that's my, that's my, my reference guide. If Linky can eat it without choking on it because it's not too big, it's perfect size. So we have our fish all cut up in the bowl, as you can see there. It's all cut up, diced up. Let's get this cucumber prepped up. Cucumber peeled. It's cut in half. And the other thing we want to do is when it's cut in half, scrape all the seeds. We don't want the seeds in there. That's it. All scraped up, no seeds in there. Two pieces. Now I just want to make this in the long strips, skinny strips. There's no right or wrong way. Pretty much it's whatever size you want, you can do that. So we got shiso leaf. To me, if you've never had this leaf, I'm sure you had it if you had sushi before. This right here just totally enhances the flavor. Totally, totally, totally enhances the flavor. And I love the way this stuff tastes. Unbelievable. Not much left because I ate this yesterday. <laughs> so this is all I have left. All you want to do with this, to prep this, is uh, wash it, which I washed yesterday, dried them off, put them back, and just cut off the stems. I saw this for prep, super easy prep. Put this on the side. I use non dirty fish. Just a little salt. And that flavor, right? Add a little sesame seed oil. Add some cocoa nut. So don't put too much kukui nut, because you get too much kukui nut, it'll give you the, the pokey squirts. But kukui nut's one of those, I don't know what it's called in the mainland. It's like, I know it's like some kind of lamp or I forget it, I don't know the exact name, I don't want to say it wrong. But um, it's one of the few things that we, it's one of the things that I guess goes with white pokey perfectly. It's all mixed up, looking lovely. So we got a green all cut up. Put this right in the pokey. It's gonna definitely add some flavor and some color. That's for sure. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look good. 
That right there is the good stuff. And honestly, before you even try it, like make handles, you gotta see how it tastes, make sure it's seasoned perfectly. Let's try it out. Oh, oh, oh my God. This, this right here. is the one can kind of show you to it if you want to but oh it's perfect 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 all right let's see those handles ready to go to make the handle is too simple take your sheet of seaweed four and a half fold it there are two pieces of seaweed now that right there two handles okay two pieces two handles was one piece now it's two two handles keep up with the math now okay now let's get this handles prepped shiny side not shiny side let's take one at some nice cool down sushi rice Let's put it right here, okay? Like so. And I'd say maybe pretty thin. I'd say less than half, a little less. Maybe about 40% of the, the sweet wrapper, okay? Let's take this chiso leaf. I love chiso. Let's take uh, two of these, right? Two of these. Okay? Tell you guys, you guys are watching this right now, like this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Tell you guys right now, watch this, okay? Get ready for the magic, okay? I learned this on my own. Let's fold this like this, okay? About a 90 degree angle, like that, right? That'd be 90 degrees. And you watch, keep it on me. 90 degrees, and you just roll it. And that right there is your perfect sushi hand roll. Let's get one more of these bad boys made. There was no practice on that one. That was a straight first time go. I didn't warm up. Let's make a little less rice than this one. That was a little full. Make a little less rice, like I said, about 40%. Let's take this chiso, because this chiso is unbelievable, okay? Let's put two there. Oh my God. This is the good stuff right here. That. Let's put two of these. Scoop of pokey, okay? Scoop of pokey, okay? I said, fold it 90 degrees again. Uh -oh. Okay. See how I fold that up right there? I fold it right there to line. Uh, that's what I call a bus, kind of fold it up for you guys. And then just roll it over. Okay, and look at that. Perfect. Doesn't get any prettier than that. Well, this is a little funky, one key, but that'll work. So you can see they're epic, they're beautiful. And I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite ways to eat um, fresh fish. Normally, like I said, when you get first fresh eye, the first day we eat fish, it's hand rolls. But the ultimate taste test is, the ultimate taste, the ultimate test is, let's see how it tastes. That chiso leaf, that cucumber. Well. Ah. Oh. That's the good stuff. Mm. That's good. So, for the giveaway, let's give away um, two lures. We'll pick three winners. So, total six lures, okay? Um, I guess uh, everybody can answer because I'm not, I know not everybody's on the troll with awkward lures. I mean, and like I said in the past, chances are not all of you guys are, are saltwater fishermen. What I'll do is for whoever doesn't win a saltwater, doesn't win the, the lures for saltwater and they win, but they're not saltwater fishermen, I will give you a gift card to High Fish Gear. I'm sure some fishing gear you can use there on the mainland. As always, like I said, check out High Fish Gear, raw five, 5% 5 off, support local. You guys are a big help to the channel. They help me out a lot. Help me get a lot of the gear I need, especially bottle fishing season coming up. They bought in a lot of the stuff that you normally can't get unless you order online, which is super epic. To enter to win, just comment, like usual, what's your favorite type of fish to catch? So I have to comment below, what's your favorite type of fish to catch is. If you comment with a pelagic fish, I'll make sure you get lures. If you comment with something else other than pelagic fish, I'll get you a gift card. Okay, so three winners, random comment generator next week, and let's see who wins. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, tight line, stay fishing. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification, post new videos every Friday. Uh, but if you're gonna enter, definitely hit the subscribe and the like. All right, guys, that's it. This is Nick Morse with Pokey Hand Rolls. All right, guys, see you guys next week. As always, tight line, see fishing. We'll see you on the water or under the water. Oh.
this. Oh. It's got to be a semi-healthy, right? Besides the rice. Alright, bye. What about the fish? Nah, nah. You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man.